I'm Joan London. Welcome to the Small Steps to Help You Manage Your Diabetes video series. This is Episode 3, Food for Thought. One of the most important things you can do to help control your diabetes and maintain a healthy lifestyle is something you do every day. You can eat. That shouldn't be too hard, right? This episode will teach you about proper choices regarding nutrition and eating and dispel some common myths about diabetes and food. Remember, before making any changes to your meal plan, consult your health care professional. Enjoy. From Studio B, it's Mornings with Dan and Danielle. Today's guests from Honey, We're Killing the Kids, Felicia Stoller, and celebrity chef Juan Carlos Cruz. And now, Dan and Danielle. Good morning, audience. Good morning. Oh, so you good to fabulous. see you. Nice to see you, We always too. have the best audiences. Look how alive and chipper they are. Oh, we do. There. I, of course, course. Yes. I am Dan. I'm still Dan, right? Yes, and I'm Danielle. Yes. But you could call me Dan, and we could be the Dan and Dan show. No, we couldn't, because then they wouldn't know who had top billing, which is me, but, you know. <laughs> Dan and Dan. The dress has no, top it has, billing, it has, of course. Has no ring. The dress is great, by the way. Thank you Love very the much. Dress. Love the dress. I'm so ne Seriously, though, how was your weekend? Tell me about the restaurant. He's always talking about the restaurant. Okay, I like to eat. But I went to two restaurants. Saturday, yeah. I had a great Italian meal. <gasps> Sunday, Where? though, I had a really great time because our producer, Anita, called me. I know it's going to oh, be a surprise. Really? We tried to call you to your cell phone oh, wasn't working. Uh -huh. So what did you, know, you guys talk helps, about? Helps to be available. Was well, it all about me? It, well, no. A few seconds and that got boring. So <laughs> what we really talked about, <laughs> Anita, um, and this is, is no secret, has been diagnosed with diabetes. And we had a very long talk about her diabetes again because she is trying so hard, but I think she's, she's become very frustrated by her lack of progress. Really? Now that's Which, It's so, a very hard thing to keep in check. That's so bizarre because I had lunch with her and mm -hmm. she told me that she's working very hard and doing great. So I don't know what you're talking about. It must be you, Dan. Well, I'm, I just stress it out. But, <laughs> that's but what I don't it is. To do with the diabetes. Absolutely. But she, no, she is, she is doing well, but she said she is having trouble, and I hope I get this right, controlling her blood sugar levels, which I guess is certainly very important. Right, exactly. But yeah. what did you tell her? You know I always have advice for anybody. <laughs> that's it's just true. Like most people don't that's listen. That's true. No, but what I thought, because listen, Listen to me, and I yeah. think this is a good idea. Okay. I told her that I think we could help her build a, a health care team, and you and I, you know, will be supporters. Absolutely. But what I think would help if she would see some specialists in some areas that she could use some help with, which is why I thought maybe today. And that's would perfect be great. because today is all about diabetes. All about, yes. yes, we have Felicia Stoller coming from Honey, We're Killing the Kids. Which is a great show. Honey, it's We're Killing the Kids. Isn't this great? Very, very happy to have her with us I today. I love this show. I'm it's so just, phenomenal. Yeah, I'm just afraid she's going to tell me I can't eat as much as I like to. <laughs> exactly. But we'll, we'll find no more potato chips for you, Dan. Now tell me, what is she, uh, what is her title? Uh, her title is a registered dietitian, an RD. RD for sure. An okay. RD, that's right. You'll get it by the end of the show, I'm sure. I'm going to try. We'll try quiz you later. <laughs> so we had a little talk. We, we, yeah. don't, we didn't want to surprise Anita, but I'm going to let you, we talked with her before. No, she agreed to come out here, and she I did. think that this is a good time. We should all have a warm welcome for our producer, a Anita. Shy, but if you'll give her some support. She's not shy. She's gorgeous. Come on. One of our favorite people in the whole world. We've been oh, together for so, so long amazing. now. Amazing. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> see, now you get to see what it's like to be on this side. Thank you. Thank you. But listen, <laughs> ha have a seat. Have a seat here. Thank you. We want you to feel welcome. Uh, and I, I want to say first, you. I do appreciate you doing this. Um, absolutely. So we're not really airing any dirty laundry here. No, shows. absolutely not. <laughs> so we have you here today as one of our guests as well. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tell us wh what's going on. And, and let me start with when is the last time that you've had a, an appointment with a specialist or anybody? Actually, just a week ago. Okay. And? Really? And uh, my blood sugar levels went up. My <gasps> A1C went up. Oh, okay. no. Well, this is perfect for today that you're here. Now, We're tell gonna us get you some what help. is A1C. Yeah, A1C. Yes, I should explain that. I just threw that away. This was all new, new to me, so I'm trying to take it into. A1C, uh, that's a, a blood test that's used to measure the average blood sugar control mm -hmm. uh, for the last two or three months. Okay. Wow, two or three months. And what you were telling me yesterday was uh, yours has been a little up and down, right? Yeah, and it, it shouldn't. Okay, so. here's what I want to say to you. Don't worry too much. We're all here for you, and it's a good Thank thing. You. We have Felicia on today's show. She's going to come out here, and she's going to help dispel some of the many myths about diabetes. Plus, Anita, what we're hoping is we can help you learn how to have a better relationship with food and diabetes. With how does food. that sound? 
That sounds good because um, I have a good relationship with food. So. Oh, great. I, I know that I do. Well, that is good. Because, <laughs> Who else do we got, Danielle? Well, famous Juan Carlos Cruz will come out here and talk about small steps that you can take that go a long way towards managing your diabetes. Yes. What do you think? Super hunky, too. I'm and everybody gets food, so you're going to love this show. So hold that thought. When we come back, we're going to have lots of good food information. Felicia's going to be back with us, so don't go away. We will be Absolutely. right back. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Anita, I will ask you first. Are you ready? Yes, yes, I am ready. Danielle? I'm ready. You're are you ready. ready? Audience, are you ready? Okay. Our first guest is a registered dietitian who's going to try to help us make heads or tails out of all this diabetes information, and there is a lot of it. So would you please give a warm welcome to Felicia Stoller. Hello. So good to have you. Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Felicia, I love your show. Me too. Well, we have a lot of fun making it. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> good, good. I tell you the thing that impresses me so much about you is you seem like you have such an encyclopedia of knowledge about food. How do you, how do you manage to portray it in such a friendly way to everybody? Because there's a lot to take in. Well, part of what I like to do is I like to get the message out there to people that eating healthy doesn't require drastic changes. It's just small steps that people can take. So that's very good to know. Um, this is Anita, and I think you met backstage. Yes, we did. Briefly. Yes. Um, now, I want to make sure I'm right about this for people who are just tuning in. Anita was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes four years ago. That's and correct. And she's having, you know, some troubles with the blood sugar levels and things like that, and, and you're a little frustrated. So we're hoping you can give us some info. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, we were talking about a little bit backstage. You were saying that you're finding that your diabetes management is a little bit overwhelming to you. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, you know, it can be, but I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit simpler so that you can just make small steps, small changes every day. Good to know. What Good. about desserts and things like that? I mean, because we love our desserts, don't we? Because I always say mm. eat That's dessert all we first. Yeah. You know, desserts are okay. You don't have to give up sugar. It's not as bad as everyone thinks that it is. Really? really? Yeah. So we're going to talk about the fact that sugar isn't all that bad later on. But sure. you're not going to have to give up all the foods that you like. And you'll be able to make small changes in your eating habits that can go a long way. And what about if you make some mistakes? Well, you know, it's like riding a bike. If you fall, you get right back on your bike. So it's the same thing with diabetes. You know, you make a mistake, you have a bad day. That's okay. The next day, get right back on track. We're going to find a way to help you fit your lifestyle in with your diabetes management every single day. Okay, and you're a registered dietitian. Could you explain to Dan what that is? I don't think he really understands it. It's always me who doesn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a registered dietitian, mm -hmm. or RD, is someone who can explain to people like yourselves mm -hmm. what your body's relationship with food is and how the foods that you can eat affect your blood sugar levels. They can be a very important and vital part of your health care team. Well, now, speaking of food, because I don't know this, I, I mean, I know some things about food, but what does food have to do with diabetes if you find out that you do have diabetes? Well, you know, first of all, foods are made up of three nutrients. They're either fats, proteins, or carbohydrates. So fats are necessary for long-term storage of energy in the body, and proteins help the body to grow and repair muscle, and carbs, those are the body's main source of energy. And I always hear when people have to watch uh, with diabetes, they can't have any carbs, but you're saying that's that's not true. You just have to Please watch. Please don't what... say that. No, it's not true. Well, <laughs> well, we need it. Bread and pasta. I mean, we all... need it. Exactly. We need it. What happens is that when we eat carbohydrates and they're broken down in the body, mm -hmm. they become glucose or blood sugar. So that those are the numbers that you need to be checking on a regular basis. And Anita right? was saying before you came out that you've been concerned because yours are going up and yes. down very sporadically. Uh, actually, it's just been up, but. Okay. It, you know, it's concerned because it should stay. And then what way. happens if it goes up? Well, I think we have a visual aid to put up so that we can take okay. a peek at that. All Great. right. Um, first, I feel like I'm back in biology class here. <laughs> biology well, here's, oh, here's, here we go. here's what happens when you eat. The okay. carbohydrates you eat are broken down into glucose. So mm -hmm. when the glucose enters your bloodstream, your blood glucose level or blood sugar level starts to rise. So the pancreas makes insulin and sends it into the bloodstream. It's like the key that unlocks the door to the cells, letting the glucose in and lowering your blood sugar. If you're insulin deficient or if your cells aren't using insulin as well as they should, your glucose isn't getting into the cells and your blood sugar levels go up. 
Over time, the higher blood sugar levels may lead to health problems. So taking additional insulin to supplement the lack of natural insulin in your body can keep your blood sugar under control. Well, I, okay, so I got it. I so got people it. take the insulin as a supplement, but some of it is already in your body. But it's very important that you check your blood sugar levels often. I think that the recommended targets are up on the screen. There they are, right there. Yeah. Right. High blood sugar could lead to poor circulation, heart disease, stroke, kidney, or eye problems. What, when, and how you eat can go a long way in controlling the sugar levels in your body. And when it comes to carbohydrates, we'll talk more about that later on. If you're having trouble maintaining your blood sugar levels in the target range, be proactive and ask someone to be on your health care team. And that's what we said about talking you know, to a specialist. Okay, let's move on. Then let's actually go to the food and discuss that some. Not just because it's my favorite topic. But oh, no, absolutely. It's my favorite topic, too. Good. <laughs> you know what? We'll talk what kind about, of foods can we eat? Yeah, we'll talk about that when we come back. Okay. So just don't go anywhere. We'll, we'll be, be right back. And we only hope it includes desserts. We'll absolutely. Right and potato chips. Welcome back. If you like food, you'll love our next guest. He's a celebrity chef, the calorie commando, and all around hunk. Well, thank you. Juan Carlos Cruz. Hello. Hey there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Jump right in here. I'll jump, I'll, I think I'll take the spot right <laughs> here. Okay. Well, Felicia was Hi, talking Felicia. about healthier ways of eating, so now we brought out some real food, and, and what can you show us? The wonderful thing about what we're doing here is that small changes can make a tremendous difference. Hi, Anita. Hi, Juan Carlos. She's been, she, she's been really waiting patiently to meet you. Well, oh, good, yes. Good. Well, I heard you like desserts. We'll have a little I something do. for you a little later on. Okay, okay. Let's break it up. Now, when I was in school, though, the big thing was the food pyramid. Is that still true? Yeah, well, absolutely. But it's changed a lot since then. As you can see over here, mm -hmm. um, instead of the food groups being stacked the way they used to be, the bands run from left to right. And the different widths of the bands represent how much you should be eating from the different food groups based upon upon your caloric needs and how active you are. Hmm. Now, I see there's a, lo a lot more colors now, yep. right? And the stripes yep. are also different sizes based on how much you're supposed to eat from each of the different groups. And portion size is very important, and we'll be talking a little bit about that later. Yeah, so the first color is orange, and that represents your whole grains. So oh. when you choose your grains, you want them to be whole. That's a really important ingredient to look for yeah, on the, the ingredient label. Breads, oh. we have pasta here. That's right, yeah. we have cereals, grains, rice. Right, exactly. Breads, pasta, check those labels. So why, why is whole such a big deal? Well, whole grains are rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It's something as simple as eating whole wheat bread instead of white bread go a long way and it's delicious. Okay, good to know, good to know. Now the next one is green, which I'm assuming must be vegetables, Yes, right? indeed. That's mm -hmm. eating your vegetables, which are naturally low in fat and they are very low in calories. But again, they're carbohydrates, so you also mm -hmm. need to be aware of how much yeah. you're eating. Okay. Add some variety as well. Use different colors, because remember, you eat with your eyes as well as with your mouth. And adding a variety of colors provides a number of different nutrients and minerals. Oh, and I'm eating now as he's talking. So <laughs> let's go to the red stripe. Tell us about that. The red stripe represents the fruit group, and there's all kinds of varieties there of fruits. Go. You can have fresh fruit, you can have frozen nice. fruit, like dried fruit, canned fruits, and even fruit juices. And you just need to be aware of the labels when you're when you're having any of the you know non-fresh varieties. You want to look and see whether or not there's any added sugars or like syrups. And, I would. Because I do see that a lot. Can, canned fruit. Like that's the fruit in cocktails syrup. often right, exactly. says in heavy syrup, which means sugar. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. Exactly added sugar that, that, that somebody with diabetes does not want to consume Absolutely. too much of. So you want it in its own so juice no or in water. And with, um, oh, with dried fruit, you just have to be aware of the portions. And also sometimes dried fruit has added sugar on top of it. Mm. You want to avoid oh. that if you can. Wow. Okay. didn't know that. What's yellow? Oh, those are the oils. Great. Yeah. So you see how thin the bar is over there? Mm -hmm. it's yeah, really thin. that's scaring me. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> that's a very thin oil bar. Don't be frightened. Well, you know, fats and oils are important because they carry not only essential fatty acids, but they're fat soluble vitamins that go along that's with right. the fat. So we need those in the body. So they help you absorb, absorb vitamins. They carry exactly. those 
special vitamins oh, into terrific. your system and they carry uh -huh. it. But you need to have a small amount of it. And certain oils are more healthier for you than others. Like, it's usually the yeah. the vegetable oils are much better. I know this. Yes, I know. Than animal <laughs> right. fat. Well, you got to remember two things. Two things. Limit your fats and choose your fats wisely. Mm -hmm. um, oils such as olive oil, mm -hmm. uh, canola oil, uh, they're a better option. Uh, they contain essential nutrients and they don't have the negative effects as uh, trans and uh, say saturated fats. Also, limit your fats, uh, limit your solid fats. That's your butters, your margarines, your shortening. Of course, my mom's favorite, lard. Oh, yes. I was raised in the South. <laughs> I hear you. Exactly. Look for substitutions when you cook uh, and when you bake. And a little later, we'll be doing some baking, and I'll show you what substitutions are all about then. Oh, great. Good. Okay, great. moving right along. Blue is the next color, and that is... And that represents the dairy group. Right here. Right, and dairy is an excellent source of calcium and protein. Mm, nice and and again, um, it has fat, and it has some carbohydrates in it. So when you're choosing your dairy products, you want to have either a low-fat or a fat-free variety. And mm -hmm. cheese as well? When you can choose mm -hmm. a low-fat cheese, it would be desirable. What about okay. people who are lactose intolerant? Yeah. Well, somebody who's lactose intolerant. I hear a lot about that. Yeah, they mm -hmm. lack the enzyme that's necessary to break down milk, sugar, or lactose. So they can either find products that are lactose free or they can take something with it. So they can enjoy dairy products as well. Great. Yeah, because I see a lot of that when I go shopping. He yeah. never goes shopping. Once, <laughs> once a year. <laughs> okay, that leads us to the purple color. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is Purple. What purple we represents purple? the meat group, the oh, meat, oh, poultry, okay. fish, okay. eggs, nuts, seeds, and we have bean some group. Beautifully prepared uh, salmon, right. right? Yes, and you know sometimes meat gets the bad rap. You can choose leaner sources, you know, leaner Before cuts of, of beef. But we've got chicken. fish here. We've got chicken. Fat like removed on the fat chicken. Removed, mm -hmm. Skin removed. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And grilled. And again, which is always healthy. It all right. comes down to mm -hmm. portions. 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 Right. And yeah. that's okay. the hardest part, Felicia. Now, you know, yeah. that's the hardest. We don't part. have because a lot of people do like red meat. We don't have any out here because we were showing the very healthy choices. There, but you well, said you are, can have some. There are healthier red meat choices. Like if you like burgers, a small mm -hmm. easy step is to use a leaner chuck. And when you go shopping, hit that condiment aisle. It's filled with different spices, oh, rubs. Yeah. Marinades, yeah. you can soup up can, anything. Can give it a whole different taste. Absolutely. Right, Heat. right. Heat. Absolutely. Right. Love that. So now I'm hearing more and more about eating not just fish, but different types of fish. What is that? What is that about? Well, that's directly related to the type of fat that is in the fish, which we're looking at omega-3 fatty acids. I, I have heard of that, yes. yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've heard of that. Mm -hmm. A lot so of talk. the fatty fishes that have it are salmon or trout. Mm -hmm. are good examples yes. of mm -hmm. fish that contain those fatty acids. And what do the fatty acids do? They're beneficial for overall heart health and cholesterol. Oh. Okay. And the same thing with beans are very beneficial for heart health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's talk about the beans. Mm. Beans, okay. beans, good for the heart. Oh yeah, dry beans, peas are high in fiber, low in fat, have a positive impact on your cholesterol. Oh, they also add color and a wonderful yes. texture, and there's tons of recipes that use a variety of beans. Are these the dry beans? I mean, I know, but maybe... You know, Dan doesn't. Well, what you have here, yeah. <laughs> always for Dan. Yeah, always for Dan. We have black beans, kidney beans, and garbanzo beans are also chickpeas. Also, oh, chickpeas, right. I didn't chickpeas know that was and the same garbanzo thing. beans, I, same I was, thing. Yeah, I didn't know that. They, okay. they are the same really? thing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. There's so many varieties of them, and you know, variety is important. Keep it interesting. Cooking is supposed to be fun, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. And, yes, and you, yeah. you know, you eat with your eyes first. But uh, when you're eating beans. Keep it in moderation because you got to remember beans add to the whole total of your carbs for the whole day. But you brought so up a, a good point there too because pyramid. you said make it look good because make I think so many good. of us think if you have to eat healthy it's going to be boring looking and no. that's not true. No, no, no. Keep it, you know, keep it interesting. Make it look good. Read the labels and don't go nuts. Oh, she can't have nuts. Oh no. She has a little nuts. You can have nuts, but in moderation, you want to be we careful have some of the portion sizes. Mm -hmm. I love nuts. Nuts are a great source of protein that contain healthier fats, but they're also mm -hmm. higher in calories, so eat them in moderation. Great. So nuts, protein, and fat. Okay. Right. right. Now, do you have something you wanted to know about? I do. <laughs> now, I understand all of this, but what about the desserts? We want our desserts. Let's get to the she desserts. Her desserts. I, I get the portions. Now, how do I incorporate these it's, desserts? It's all I tell you about what. overall and how you cook. Hang and how on you make to substitutions, that. And we're going to show you. When okay. we come back, I believe Juan Carlos will have something very delicious for us that you can eat and not worry yes. about. So Make stick around. For it. We'll be right back.
back, everyone. Now, we are in your area of expertise. Am I right, Juan Carlos? Welcome to my office. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, glad to be here. And it looks like we are going to do some cooking. Am I right? That's why we're wearing these aprons? We're wearing aprons because we're actually be doing some baking. Baking. We, right. we are going to be making some that delicious happy, right? cookies yes. that are easy on fat and carbohydrates. Anita, do you like cranberries? Of course I love cranberries. Do you like oatmeal? Yeah, I love oatmeal. Good. <laughs> I was going to be really shocked if you said no. Um, <laughs> because we're going to make a wonderful cranberry oatmeal cookie that you are going to love. Yeah, I'm uh, let me run you through some of the ingredients here. Please. Okay. Well, it's an oatmeal cookie, so first we're going to need some oatmeal. Okay. Hey, look, She's whole happy. wheat flour. Not at all. Whole okay. grains. We got some real sugar. For me. For you. Thank you. Some and real that's okay. Sugar. Is that just a little well, bit? Of well, absolutely. Let's not take all the fun out of cooking. Okay. Let's Good. let's have some absolutely. good stuff in there. Right. We need some seasoning. Uh -huh. We got mm -hmm. some cinnamon. Mm. Some nutmeg, a little bit of ginger. Of course, we're going to need some baking powder. Okay. These are all our dry ingredients. Okay. okay. Here's our wet ingredients. Um, there's kind of a non sequitur here, and that is applesauce. In cookies? Mm -hmm. In cookies. Remember how I was mentioning that substituting ingredients is a small step for making recipes healthier? Mm -hmm. Well, here I'm taking my applesauce. Mm -hmm. And I'm substituting applesauce for the oil that I usually right, have in this. Right, right, right. That's that, great. And that makes for a much healthier recipe. Yeah, interesting. And of course, it's unsweetened applesauce, but we are keeping some of the flavor. Okay. Because we got some butter right here. Okay. Now, what I mean when I you put butter in, because people <laughs> tell me this all the time. Aww. It's like, wait a minute, you got some sugar and you got some butter. We're keeping butter in there as a seasoning, not as a cooking okay. medium. So you taste it? But exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of uh, egg right here to get some moisture and some binding. Sure. And of course, hey, you know what's baking without vanilla? <laughs> Got to have it. And the last ingredient, some dried cranberries. You know, got these it. sound Excellent. delicious. Oh, you know, they it's, sound it's, absolutely delicious. Between the delicious. cranberries and the applesauce, sounds like we got a serving of fruit in here. We got a serving of fruit. <laughs> She's a happy girl. Throw us up potato chips we have a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks. can we get started? Nice yes, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have you helping me out. Let's get cooking or okay. baking. What can we yes. do? Uh, Felicia, would you preheat the oven to 350? Sure. And you, and Anita, are going to be helping me out. I got work for you two in just a okay, second. Okay, I'm Excellent. ready. I'm ready. All right. Okay. The dry ingredients. You're going to mix the dry ingredients. This is why it's what I call sea spot run cooking. Take the oatmeal, <laughs> just okay. dump it right in here. You like that sea spot yeah, run? Yeah, I love that. Absolutely. Just pour that in and there. Yeah, just go ahead and just dump okay. it right on in. Dump it right on in. That's terribly hard so far, isn't it? Yes, it's the whole wheat flour. Okay. Whole wheat flour. Whole wheat. Of course, dump we got it. our yes. Dump it right on in. Dump just it right on. Mix nice. it around a little bit. So mixing. And then let's nice. put in our uh, sugar. Okay. Brown sugar. Yep. Brown sugar. My favorite part. Dumping brown in. sugar. Yes, that's. I put that in just that's for you. That's for me. Nice Thank you. Sweet. So Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Sweet good like you. Okay. Sweet like you. <laughs> that's that's right. Take all our spices and just unceremoniously dump them in. Dump. Also, spice it up. Looking good so far. Dump. And then, Dan, the I'm going to have a job for you. Is going to mix all this together. Okay. And just to let you know, to save a little time, Yummy. we went ahead and pre-mixed, if I'm getting this right, the applesauce, the egg, the vanilla, and the butter? That's right. Okay. It, it takes a little bit of stirring time, about okay. three minutes. And yeah, that's so going to save three that minutes right here. So okay. I've got that right here. That's right. This is already I just starting really to smell really all that really up. yummy. Oh, this, it, it smells yummy. It's a very tactile experience. So you cook with all your senses here. This is, is wonderful. It nice? is it yeah, nice? let's, let's just break it this right up. It smells amazing. Yeah, break those up right there. It's let's take violent. this here mm -hmm. okay. and add these together. I'm going to let you do this. Oh, yes, great. of course. Okay. She's I'm learning. I'm learning. Doing She's a, a pro now. She, Anita's oh, yeah. a pro. This oh, yeah. is exciting. This is why she I can usually make, stay out of the kitchen. I'm telling you, she can make a I didn't think it would be this easy. It is easy. It just takes a little bit of a little bit of effort, okay. but not a whole well, lot. We have a lot more to do, right? You. you look like you've we, done we this. Do have right. We almost done. Now just mix that all together. Now while you're mixing that together, we mm -hmm. kind of need something to bake these cookies on. Well, okay. I haven't would, had a job would, yet. Would you be so oh. kind <laughs> as to get us a, a cookie know. sheet and a little okay. bit of cooking spray? Thank yes. You. And Dora, you don't have to be too too dainty or too delicate with it. Okay. Yes, just that. have fun Aww. with it. In fact, let's go. Well, actually, mix cranberries. It. That's right. That's just what I was going to say. Now, remember, turn, young man. we don't have that whole cup of oil in there. What did we put in for the oil instead? Apple, apple sauce. sauce. Apple, apple sauce. sauce. <laughs> yes. Yes. Don't be dainty. Get no, in there. Okay, oh, there, in there you go. There, there you go. You're all get a good workout. Good just just because people are watching you on TV cook and we're not going to make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> it mixes better it delicious. if we do this before we put in the cranberries. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Just because so a, sure a lot of the dry ingredients wet. get stuck inside the, gran the, the, the nice. nooks and crannies oh, of the yeah, cranberries. Yeah. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. it's harder for it to get mixed in. So that's the reasoning huh. behind it. You want to be it. moist. So yeah. basically yeah. cranberries are the last thing. Cranberries are the last thing to get kneaded in. Yeah. Now how many how many cookies is this going to make? This is going to make 36 cookies. Mm -hmm. How many? Really? That many? It doesn't look like all that much. Little portions. Yes, little portions. Because technically, okay. a serving of this is two cookies. Okay. 
You're doing great. Look Thank at you. you. I, could, I could eat I'm that just like that. I'm getting the heck of this. I'm holding the next step. You, you, oh, you, you hold this down? step okay. because she's at a perfect step to add yes. the cranberries. Let it dump in real slowly. Okay. And you beautiful. can fold these over. In fact, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you over just a little tiny okay, bit scoot. while you are scooting there. Let's My have kids a. My kids so proud. Look well, at this. Well, absolutely. Now, there's a couple ways you can bake. You know, when you were watching TV shows when we were kids and, you know, whoever was the host took the big thing of butter and went. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be my grandmother. Uh, with wax paper, yes. right? Exactly. With wax Sometimes paper. with the wax paper. That was so much um, fun. Another small step you can take is to use a little bit of cooking spray instead of butter to line the sheet pans okay. and just lightly spray. Mm -hmm. Now, right. instead of adding, um, how many calories in about a tablespoon of uh, butter? 120 -ish? Oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah, about 120. Oh, we've been slashing yeah, calories like crazy. Really? Slap nice. on that tablespoon. Yeah. Instead of that, we okay. do. Just want to count one one thousand. Is your arm getting tired? One thousand. Well, you can help. Sure. That was about three thousand. Yeah, one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. It smells well, so just, just good. Yummy, yeah. Well, what we did here, instead of all that Square. butter and all those calories, mm -hmm. yeah. for every one second of spray, that's seven calories. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good to know. So it's How makes, many seconds did you do? I, I, I did three seconds. Three seconds. So it's just a, just a little bit of calories. That's all we want to do is just okay. Do a light I think spray. I'm ready for the you're, the baking sheet. You you are good. So here, okay. br bring on over here. Oh, that's I was going to use that. Oh, you want this for your serving size? Well, that's what I was using. Did, did we not talk about portion control? Okay, okay. We okay. talked about portion control. That's how. Now I know how we get the thirty-six cookies. We get the thirty-six cookies because Anita, this is what I want. Your next, your next thing is that's about two tablespoons okay. right there. Okay. And we put two table. Yeah, go ahead and just take that to scrape across. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Right there. Leave nice. about one there, one there. Leave about two oh, inches in between. Yeah. Okay. Go right ahead. All right. Yes. That's All right. And then we'll put this in the oven. Two inches. This Absolutely. bakes for about that. 12 to 16 minutes, depending okay. on the oven. I thought I would oh, never wow. have time to do something to try like some? this. This is really we easy. We are going to get to try and some. And even the people in our studio audience maybe a little later oh. if we have enough. 36 cookies, that's a lot. Yes, but I, I didn't think you'd it's be able dozen. to wait. So, uh, so, so we, what? We, we pre-baked a few to have some ready oh, for you. Oh, that's great. I love TV cookies. Yes. 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 We're going to take I'm a break so hungry. and cook these. And when we come back, we'll take some questions from the audience. So don't go away. Because we have cookies. Yes. We have cookies. Thank you. We're glad you're back. We've got our panel of experts there. Now, during our break here, Danielle and I went up in the studio audience and we picked some members out who had some questions for our panel of experts there. So, ma'am, we're going to start with you. Is that okay? Speak right up. Hi, you guys. Um, this has been really helpful. I think I eat all the right foods, but I still have a hard time maintaining a healthy weight. Well, how do you eat? I mean, do you eat all of your meals? Well, I skip breakfast sometimes. And, and when I get really busy, then I skip lunch, too. But That only leaves dinner. I, <laughs> that's true. I could do that. <laughs> but I, I snack a lot, so I don't get too hungry. Well, I tell many of my clients to eat all of their meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and space them out throughout the day. And snacking is great, but some of your choices may be contributing to a weight problem. Start by carrying around some healthy snacks and keep yourself from getting too hungry. And don't skip or delay meals. It may lead to low blood sugar. So be sure to eat when it's time to eat. I try, but it's hard. I have a pretty busy life and with work and then picking up the kids and homework and just sometimes I snack on the run. Well, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is hard enough when you don't have diabetes. Try this. Make extra portions when you prepare meals for the kids. You can always bring leftovers to your office or somewhere, so you're never left without a meal. Healthy snacking is fine, but I'll bet it's not enough to fill you up, right? You got that right. You get oh. hungry. Okay, our next question is over here. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, my biggest problem is portion control. Do you have any advice for me? When you eat, do you count portions or uh, servings? No, oh, I, I thought they were the same thing. Well, many people confuse serving size and portion size. Yeah, a standard serving size is the amount that's listed on a food package. The portion size is the amount that you actually eat. Whole and different creature. Absolutely. And I read that portion sizes are getting bigger and bigger. It's true, and it's very easy to lose touch with what's considered a normal portion. How many people out there think you need to clean your plates? 
Right. There you go. Right. Yeah. And we think that we're going to finish everything on the plate. And we need to finish everything on the plate, regardless of what the actual serving size should be. But I'm going to tell you a simple way to remember the difference between serving sizes and portion sizes. Dan, do you like potato chips? Oh, does he? One like of my favorite chips. vegetables. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he loves potato chips. Yeah. Not the best choice for vegetables we talked about before. You want one with fiber. But in the meantime, which size bag would you eat? Tell the truth. I would, I, well, I know I could eat the medium one. Yeah, he can yeah. eat the large yeah. one, trust Thank me. You. Yeah, all right, so this would be one portion for you. For me, yeah. yeah. Right, but according to the label for this particular brand, that's the equivalent of three servings. So you have to take all the information that's on that food label in terms of fat content, carbohydrates, and calories, and multiply that by three. Okay. Can you multiply? Yes, I can do that. I knew you were going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so that's for snacking. Now, can we talk a little bit about whole meals? Because that's very important. Here's a great way to watch your portions. Take a whole plate, standard size dinner plate. Cut it into quarters. First quarter, that's where you put your starchy vegetables like your corn, your peas, your potatoes, a grain like a pasta or rice. Fill the second half, that's where you put your non-starchy vegetables like uh, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, peppers. The remaining quarter, that's where your lean proteins go, your poultry, your fish, and, and any other protein source. Now, you don't want to go piling food on your plate, so let's give you a couple quick tips on estimating portion size. Uh, let's just take the palm of your hand, not your uh, fingers or your thumb, but just the palm of your hand. That equals about three to five ounces of cooked boneless meat. Uh, now, don't go using somebody else's palm if you want a bigger portion, <laughs> all right? Come on. <laughs> now, a handful, that's about a cup of food, a tight fist. It's about a half cup. Your thumb, it's about a tablespoon. The tip of your thumb, that's about a teaspoon. Okay, we have time for one more question, ma'am. Uh, yeah, hi, Felicia. Uh, I have type 2 diabetes, and I really, really try to watch my carbohydrates, but it's like everything is a carb. I mean, especially everything I like. <laughs> Yeah, it can be so difficult because so many foods have carbohydrates in them. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, carbs aren't bad. Like fruits and vegetables and whole grains, they're some of the healthier foods that you can eat. Can we put that pyramid back up again? Can you eat them? But they're not as fun. Right, I know. Yeah, I, know. But, you know. <laughs> I always eat my veggies. <laughs> I do, I do. Sure you do, not the potato chip variety. That's not a veggie? <laughs> no. Veggie no. chips. <laughs> you can have exactly. veggie chips. Well, remember, dairy foods also have sources of carbohydrates in them as well, and they may affect your blood sugar. So you want to make sure that the foods that you choose are the ones that are more nutritious versus those like cakes and pastries, for example. Darn it! So read the labels. Read the labels. Yeah. And things like proteins, meat, and fish, and eggs, they don't have carbohydrates, but you always want to check the label for specific carbohydrate information, and you may want to consult with a registered dietitian to find out exactly how many carbohydrates you need to have in a day. Terrific. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with cookies. Cookies! to be back in Juan Carlos's office, a kitchen to anybody else. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, what's the verdict? Juan Carlos, these cookies are amazing. They are. They're, they're amazing. And I can't, they're so soft. They're delicious. They're so mm -hmm. moist. Felicia, Anita, what do you think? Yeah. I, up, I think they're up. delicious. And you know what? They were so easy to make. But what I really like is that little ginger, ginger spice in there. Ginger, ginger. Mm. You get that real you heated ginger. ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while you guys are eating cookies, mm -hmm. do you think that you could help dispel some of the myths and misconceptions about diabetes and yes. food and... Well, I'll certainly try. Sure. And remember, sometimes it's just making small changes to your favorite recipes that can make a big difference. Mm. Mm. So That's I'm good. not headed for a life of celery and hot water? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hardly. Let me right. get started. All right. Someone asked this. Does having diabetes mean that I cannot eat sugar, chocolate, or any sweets at all? I any truth to that? No, well, that's one of the biggest misconceptions of diabetes management. You can't avoid sugar altogether, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if you have a healthy meal plan or combine your eating with some exercise, mm -hmm. people with diabetes can work in sweets and desserts. You just can't have tons of it. Just little bits. Which you shouldn't anyway. Well, right? no, yeah. no. Sugar, well, too much sugar isn't healthy for anyone. Right. Um, it's too many empty calories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have to think about eating more healthy foods. And you are now. 
I am. This yes. is and it's great. Right? Of course, but even healthy foods can affect your blood sugar. I mean, fruit is healthy, and that needs to be taken into consideration as well. Your best bet is to see a registered dietitian to see what your individual needs are. Hmm. Okay. Good to yeah. know. All right, here's another one. Do people with diabetes have to look for diabetic foods in special sections of their grocery stores? That's a good question. Well, that's another yep. myth about diabetes. The meal plan for someone with diabetes is comprised of the same healthy foods that all of us should be eating. Mm -hmm. Your diet should be low in fat, moderate in sugar and salt, and it should also be um, high in fiber and filled with fiber. foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Just healthy eating. Right. Yeah. yeah. But wait a minute. Do I have to cut out breads and pastas? Because I love my pasta. Because <laughs> we had it yesterday. No. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's a myth. Remember, what we were talking about, healthy eating includes carbs, but portions are important. Remember to look at whole grain breads and pastas. Okay, final one. Please tell me that I can still have moderate amounts of alcohol. Mm. Can I? Oh, yeah. Well, as Danielle I like to wrote say, that in. Yeah, that everything, was my card. <laughs> everything in moderation, but check with a registered dietitian because mm -hmm. alcohol can affect your blood sugar levels. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, Mr. Potato Chips. Okay, so mm -hmm. you want to talk about snacks. I know. Snacks. Yes. I'm a snacker. And, and what about snacks for Dan? Well, that the... depends because a lot of people equate snacking with junk food, mm -hmm. but you don't want to get hungry and you don't want to lose energy. So what you can do is grab some of those fresh pre-cut veggies that they mm -hmm. sell. Mm -hmm. I even see them in snack bags ready to go. So fruit or nuts can also be a great snack when it's considered part of your overall meal plan. J just like the woman in the audience who asked that she was snacking, but she was snacking in the wrong way. Right. right, correct. So you can do it healthy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I was also thinking that um, changing the way I eat and, and watching what I eat was going to be so hard that maybe I should just avoid eating out. Now, is that something that someone with diabetes would have to do, just avoid going out and eating at restaurants? That is a good question, because yeah. especially if you're in the city, yeah. we eat out. Exactly. Right. Well, listen, restaurants are wonderful, and there are lots of ways to eat out and stay healthy. Just remember, stick to your meal plan, learn your serving sizes, and plan ahead. And if you know where you're going to eat, you may want to check to see if the restaurant has a website. That way you can preview the menu and figure out in mm. advance what you might want to order. Good mm -hmm. idea. Good, good advice. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. And remember, portion size. Yes. Restaurants always load your plate with these huge portions. Right. Cleaning your plate isn't necessarily the amount of food you need. Don't be afraid to share entrees and take home leftovers. So don't waste the food by not eating it. Take it home. Right. Good. Right. So what do you think, Anita? This is doable? Yeah, I, I think it is doable. I really think that I can fit these small steps into my schedule pretty easily. And um, I don't know, I think I'm excited to get started. So. Excellent. Well, on I'm that note, have another lunch. cookie. <laughs> She's taking me to I'm lunch. I'm still finishing this one. Fine. Portions, portions. I'll let you have your girl talk. Yeah. I think that means that we are out of time. I want to thank Felicia Stoller. Great advice. Really appreciate you being here today. Oh, well, thank you. And just remember, the incidence of diabetes is growing. But so are the resources available to help you manage it. So check websites, organizations, and talk to your health care team. And remember, Fit diabetes into your lifestyle rather than fitting your lifestyle into diabetes. Good advice. Great yeah. advice. Thanks to Juan Carlos Cruz right, and our producer, Anita. First Thank time you. on camera. <laughs> and for more information on this topic, go to www.diabetes.org and have, have a great morning. morning.